The world is changing more rapidly than ever before, and organizations of every size are struggling to remain relevant in the eyes of their customers. In 2000, the leading companies were industrial companies, such as General Electric, ExxonMobil, Pfizer, and Citigroup. Now the digital platforms, such as Apple, Google, Microsoft, or Amazon, are largely ahead. The market faces perpetual accelerations and disruption. To adapt to their competitive environment and be able to innovate, companies are therefore forced to transform their organization and their ways of working at all levels. Businesses must innovate and deliver more effectively than their competitors to be able to survive and thrive into the future. The simple fact that the average lifespan of a company has decreased by more than 50 years in the last century demonstrates that not all organizations are prepared for this new reality. It is only high-performing, adaptable, and agile organizations that will leverage, lead, and thrive in this ambiguous and unpredictable market. We call this business agility. In this context, what are the factors that allow an organization today to be in the leading pack and especially to stay there? In this video, we are going to discuss business agility and how it can help organization thrive in this new world. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to support our work, join our Patreon community. You can find more details in the description. Business agility is the ability of a company to outlearn and outperform their competition, to sense changes internally or externally, and respond accordingly in order to deliver value to its customers. We can define four foundational components for business agility. Starting with delivering fast and responsibly. This is foundational to business agility. It is the ability to ship high quality, fast and responsibly without losing market share to smaller, more agile competitors and while retaining customer loyalty. Many companies who adopt agile improve their delivery capability, but not to the degree that is needed to achieve the promise of business agility. These companies need to take into consideration several practices, such as continuous delivery, DevOps, quality engineering, scale in agile delivery, and full value streams. When organizations implement all of these, they will have achieved delivery agility. As they begin to deliver more, the need for the second component, product innovation, will become more obvious. The second component is product innovation, to innovate and disrupt. During this digital age, technology improvements are enabling competitors to develop new and improved products faster than ever. Companies need to become better at determining what products and services to deliver and why. It is one thing to become able to deliver more stuff. It is entirely another thing for that stuff to have impact with customers. The company is capable of rapidly experimenting towards new products and services, discovering and creating new customer segments, and iterating on business models will thrive in this digital age. Product innovation as a component is about learning what customers truly need faster than your competitors. Some practices that can expedite this learning include customer development and lean startup. These are frameworks for discovering and validating the right market ideas via experimentation. Design thinking. Using the designer's sensibility and methods to identify customer needs and new product and service opportunities. Lean products and portfolio management. An evolution of these traditional methods and roles that focuses on maximizing the flow of value to customers. 
Successful innovation rarely happens overnight. It requires patience, a clear vision, and love of testing to see what works and what needs to be improved. And for this innovation to be viable, the organization must provide teams with the right environment, without imposing the traditional constraints that hinder radically creative business generation, such as governance, regulatory compliance, traditional portfolio management, and IT infrastructure and support. This leads us to the need for our third component, organizational adaptability. We all heard about VUCA for volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. VUCA defines the digital age and illustrates the need for organization-wide agility. Organizations cannot compete successfully if they remain static. Processes, structures, culture, and even management models must evolve continuously to enable the organizational adaptability. When organizational structures are rigid and static, product innovation and delivery is hindered by the bureaucracy, the culture of fear, functional silos, inefficiency, and resistance to change. Not fixing these barriers will allow faster, smaller, and more agile competitors to steal market share. To become innovators and disruptors, companies must innovate their organizational and managerial approaches. They have to reduce bureaucracy and evolve leadership styles and cultures. Sensing and responding to change and uncertainty is an organizational capability, but it falls to leadership to enable the organization as a whole to act on their learning, which takes us to the last component, the role of leadership, and by extension, management. This is key to the organization unlocking business agility. In the agile organization, leaders are front runners who design environments where delivery agility and product innovation thrive through the passionate engagement of knowledge workers. The Agile organization needs leaders with agile mindset and values who thrive in complexity and who are able to establish and engage others in a competing vision. Most companies will have a significant amount of work to do to develop the capabilities of business agility and this responsibility falls upon leadership at every level of the company. Agile leaders are needed to clarify and orient people to a shared vision of success and to design environments in which it can be achieved at any time. Building strengths in all of these competencies prepares you to create and execute on your vision strategy, and goals. Business agility enables organizations to innovate and deliver more effectively. An organization that has attained business agility is able to adapt their structures to rapidly deliver products and services, to innovate beyond market changes, and grow leader that can effectively support all of this across even large and complex businesses. Thank you for following this video on business agility. I hope it gave you a better understanding of where to start with your agile journey in your organization. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel and support our work by joining our Patreon community. Thank you.